Hey everybody, this is Chris with Opsed, and today we're going to be going over the tier list for the specialist abilities and weapons in Black Ops 3. Just a reminder, tier 4 is going to be the worst, with tier 1 being the best, and it's also worth noting that all of the specialist weapons and abilities are quite good, so we're only analyzing them based on their relative power to one another. Leading us off, in tier 4 we have Ruins Overdrive, which allows you to run really fast. It can be used to get to a point quickly, but that's about all it's good for. It can't really be used well aggressively. It's certainly not going to be used defensively. It's not going to be used to get you out of a situation, so it's just not going to be that great in most situations. Secondly, we have Spectre's Active Camo, which simply does not work as advertised. It doesn't make you invisible. Players can see you. Players will shoot you, and you will die. It's really only useful if you were standing perfectly still or sitting prone on the ground, which you really shouldn't be in most cases, so it's just not that great. Then, leaning us off in Tier 3, we have Prophet's Tempest. It's going to be his lightning gun. It's difficult to use. It has a small charge up, so you're going to be very vulnerable when you're trying to hit people with it. And even if you do hit somebody with it, players have grown to be quite good at getting out of the chain range, so you're not going to be able to get too many chain kills with it. Also in Tier 3, we have Outrider's Sparrow. It's her bow and arrow with the explosive tip. This is a lot of fun to use, however it also suffers from the charge up time that you see with the Tempest, and the explosive part is not that powerful, so you're going to really have to spam it if you're going to want to get any explosive kills with it. Moving on, in Tier 3 we have Nomad's Hive Gun. It places the little hive mines on the ground where some bees come out and just eat you alive. This seems really effective, however, the hives disappear if you die, so you have to really camp it up and try to stay alive to get any use out of it. And the hives are destroyed by imp grenades, they can be shot by weapons, they can be eaten by trophy systems, so a lot of times you're not going to get much use out of this. Also in Tier 3 is Nomad's ability, Rejack. In the beta, Rejack was out of this world good, and was simply overpowered, and Treyarch took note of this and gave it a nice firm hit with the nerf bat, and now it's just okay. It no longer maintains your score streaks, it now counts as a death, so really it's only good for maintaining your place on the battlefield, but a lot of times you are going to get killed trying to come out of Rejack, so you're simply not going to get too much use out of it in a lot of situations. Moving on in Tier 3, we have Reaper's Psychosis. This is where he spawns a bunch of duplicates of himself to try and confuse your enemy. It's a really neat mechanic, however, good players are going to be able to easily recognize who the duplicates are and who you are, so you're going to be very vulnerable, and you're giving your opponents free score as they shoot your duplicates. Lastly, in Tier 3, we have Battery's Kinetic Armor. This is going to give you armor from the neck down, and it's going to help you absorb those bullets. However, you're still very vulnerable to headshots, and players have gotten really good at hitting those headshots, so oftentimes you'll die even with your kinetic armor active. And additionally, if you have a lot of players shooting at you, the kinetic armor is going to go down very quickly and going to leave you vulnerable in a very bad situation. Moving on to Tier 2, we're going to be leading off with Reaper's Scythe. This is his minigun, which is basically a mobile chainsaw. Once it's fired up, it will mow down entire enemy teams. However, it's a little cumbersome to use, the spin-up time is quite long, and once you're firing it, you're just painting a giant target on your forehead, so every enemy is going to be trying to kill you as quickly as they can. Then also in Tier 2, we have Firebreak's Purifier. The Purifier is his flamethrower. It has a pretty incredible range, and it will kill anything within its path. However, enemies, even after they're hit by it, have a couple of seconds to shoot at you, and will oftentimes kill you even after you've killed them. And, just like with the Scythe, you're going to have a giant target on your back, and everybody's going to be trying to kill you. Also in Tier 3, we have Firebreak's ability Heat Wave. This sends out a little AoE pulse around you that will set enemies on fire and stun them, similar to a concussion grenade. This can make for an excellent oh shit button, and it can also be used aggressively to run into a room and kill everybody. However, just like with concussion grenades, players that were already looking at you or near you have the ability to still shoot you and kill you, so you're going to run into problems if you're using this too aggressively. Also in Tier 2, we have Outrider's Vision Pulse. This is going to have a radius around you where you will be able to see enemies through walls. This can be really useful for increasing your situational awareness. However, it does also warn enemies that you're there, which can oftentimes get you killed, or at the very least give your enemies warnings so that they run away and you don't get too much benefit out of it. 
Lastly, in Tier 2, we have Prophet's Glitch. This rewinds you back in time a little bit and moves your location. This can be used in really amazing ways to get to jump on enemies, to warp behind enemies, to just get yourself out of a sticky situation. However, you'll find that a lot of times it's not up when you need it, or that you don't hit the button quite in time and you end up dying with your glitch active. So it's good when used really well, but a lot of times it isn't quite as good as some of the other abilities. Now, leading us off in Tier 1, we have Spectre's Ripper. These are his little, like, Wolverine blades, and he simply owns melee range when he has these active, and these things are always, always active. They cool down faster than anything else in the game, and if you die with them active, they don't lose their full charge, which means you have them back up almost instantly. These things are amazing. They're a lot of fun. They can be used defensively. They are great oh shit buttons when you're coming around that corner and just run into an enemy and you can even use them aggressively to run onto a point and just kill everybody there without them having a shot in hell at killing you then moving on we have Seraph's combat focus now combat focus is a little different it increases your score multiplier while it's active in the right players hands with the right score streak selected this is an amazing amazing ability it can snowball off of itself you can use it with in conjunction with your score streaks to just continue getting more and more higher and higher score streaks and can just simply dominate an entire match one player who's using combat focus effectively third in tier one we do have batteries war machine this is her grenade launcher and the war machine is amazing it will simply clear an entire area that you want to clear it'll clear an entire room it'll clear an entire point you can get out the war machine and just decimate entire maps it is amazing. You're not going to be too much at risk because you can shoot it from a very long range. And the War Machine is something you always want to be having on an objective mode. And then lastly, in Tier 1, we have what I believe to be the best specialist weapon or ability in the game, and that is going to be Ruin's Gravity Spikes. Gravity Spikes are simply fantastic. They are amazing in every single situation. You can use them aggressively. You can use them defensively. They're arguably the absolute best oh shit button in the game. You don't know what's going on around you. You just hit your Gravity Spikes and everything dies. We've all seen the amazing, amazing kill cams of people getting six, seven, eight kills with Gravity Spikes. They simply can't be beat. Now please do keep in mind that this tier list is subject to change as patches happen or the game just changes. But for right now, I think this tier list is quite accurate. I do hope it helped, and we'll see you next time on Opset.